Today I want to show you a cool project that turns your MySQL shell into an interactive prompt. It's called the MyCLI tool and you can see it on github.com. So if I switch over to my terminal and I just start up a Docker container I have here, I can actually go ahead and I can install this. First I'm going to update my package manager. And then I'm going to install the software. First, I'm going to install the Python pip package manager. And once that's all set, I can install the software. Okay, so now that this is installed, I can log into a MySQL prompt by doing mycli. It's going to ask for the password of the MySQL user on this computer. Mine is just root because it's a local Docker container. You should never use a root password for a production environment. But now you can see that the interactive shell is a little bit different here. So you get autocomplete commands. So if I start using something like a use command, I can do that. And then it gives me the databases that I have on my system. So I can use the answer database. And for instance, I don't have to put a semicolon to complete commands. I can do that, but I don't have to. So I could do something like show tables. And I could do this like this, or I could do it with a semicolon. Now, if I want to select a table, for instance, maybe we want to look at a select statement on the cache table. Well, I guess that doesn't exist. Let's do the cache bootstrap table. So you, you'll notice that it's kind of not a pretty prompt to look at. So one thing that we can do is we can actually set the pager for this shell. So the way that you do that is you come in here and you basically edit your dot my dot conf file. And you can add something like this. And with this pager being set to less with these flags, it will give you a nicer prompt to look at your output. So if I come in here and I run my CLI again, log in, and I'm also getting autocomplete here from my previous commands, you can see now that I have a nicely outputted format for my tables. So that's pretty much it. It's a nice alternative to something like SQL Workbench or MySQL Pro. So you can do your SQL work locally on your command line.